class is taught with Real Active Wellness. And I want to share a little bit of information with you in regards to the squat. Whether you're squatting for mobility or you're squatting for strength, there's some simple foot leg position things I'd like to share with you. So when you are squatting, you have a little bit of versatility uh, re with respect to how wide your feet should be. So you could squat with your feet relatively narrow, where your heels are more or less right below the sit bones of the hip, which is like the center of each glute. Uh, some people will choose to squat with a much wider stance, almost getting into what we refer to as like a, a Jefferson squat. But basically, what you need to know is that everybody is built a little bit differently. Everybody is going to have a position that is going to be their strongest and their safest and their most mobile position. And those three things will go together. They're all the same. So uh, regardless of how wide your stance is, I want you to be able to match your foot position appropriately with the width of your stance. That will take unnecessary stress off the ankles, definitely the knees, and also the hips. And it will also take a tremendous amount of unnecessary stress off the lumbar spine. So if you are in a more uh, narrow stance, so your heels are directly below the center of your hips, that means that your legs are essentially parallel. They have not abducted or moved outward at any angle at the hip. They're at a zero degree angle. As a result, your feet should match that. So there's no rotation in the feet if you are in this parallel leg position. Now, if your feet get a little bit wider, so if your left leg comes out 10 degrees and so does your right leg, then your feet should rotate outward approximately 10 degrees. This way, when you squat down, because of the angle of my thigh being this, it should match the angle of my foot, so the knee tracks in the same direction as the way that the foot is pointing. If you get a little bit wider than that, say 20 degrees at each hip angle. Your feet, each one, should rotate approximately outward 20 degrees. And again, as you squat down then, the angle of your thighs should match the angle of foot rotation. Now, it's maybe not going to be perfectly 20 and 20 or 10 and 10, but that is the idea that I want you to try to be consistent with. Otherwise, what ends up happening is we may get into a stance, and somebody may have told us that straight feet is the way to go. But with a wide stance, what happens is as you squat down and your knees push outward, which is normal with a wide stance, your knees begin to go out as your feet are pointing straight forward. And you create this challenge within the joints of the body. And you really load stress totally unnecessarily through these joints. Now, if you're squatting for mobility, and that's what you're trying to do to open up joints, that's fine. But up under a heavy load, that is certainly not the optimal position. So, you will be able to find your most mobile position if your feet and your thighs are pointing in the same direction, loaded or not. This is going to be your best position. You just need to figure out, is it here for you, where you're more narrow? Is it much wider? Either way, it doesn't matter. As long as the angle of the femur or the thigh is parallel or in line with the angle of foot position. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate. You can hit us up on Facebook, Real Active Wellness. Thanks for joining me.